Hello all, I am Ms. Pradna Bhurmane. Welcome again for the next session on inheritance. In previous session, we have discussed about what is inheritance, what is the need of inheritance and the types of inheritance. So we will quickly revise the types, single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance. And we have discussed the examples of each. Now, today we are discussing about the syntax of each type of inheritance. To start with the first type, we have single inheritance. So, what we uh, know about single inheritance is we derive the properties from uh, the single class. So, what we are saying here is uh, only one base class and one derived class. So here the syntax, the first is we have a class A which is a base class and class B which is a derived class. So how we are doing the inheritance? Name of a class, then access specifier or we can say a visibility mode. So it can be a private, public or protected and the name of a class from which we want to derive. So this is a syntax for single inheritance. So one base class and one derived class. Next we have is the multiple inheritance. So a class can inheriting from more than one class. So here we have class A and we have class B and class C will be a derived class. So again same name of a derived class colon access specifier or visibility mode it can be private, public or protected. The first class, first base class separated with the comma the second base class. So access specifier for A and access specifier for B separated by comma. So this class C is deriving or it is inheriting the properties of class A and class B both are base classes that is multiple. Next we have is multi-level inheritance. So in multi-level one is inheriting from another base class that will become the intermediate base class and from that we are deriving the third class which is a derived class. So here Class A is a base class. As uh, we know how to inherit the name of a derived class, then colon access specifier or visibility mode, the name of a base class. So this will be now our intermediate base class. And from this, again, we are deriving another class, which is a class C. Then same access specifier or visibility mode and the name of intermediate base class, which is not, nothing but a B. So we have a base class A, from that we have derived class B and which will become now intermediate base class from which we are deriving third class which is a derived class C. Now we will go for the next type is hierarchy. What we are uh, see in the hierarchy is we have a one base and multiple derived. So here you can see this is a class A, a base class. From that we have we have derived class B, then we have derived class C and we have derived class D. So one base class which is A and we have a three different derived classes which is nothing but your hierarchy inheritance. Uh, the next type we have is the hybrid. So hybrid is a combination of more than one type of inheritance. So we can consider an example. We have a child and the parents. The relation between child and parent which follows the multiple and hierarchical inheritance. So both can be called or a combination is called as hybrid inheritance. So the structure here, 
we have a base class then we have a derived class from a we have another class c and we have another derived class from b derived class and c as a base class so this is hybrid inheritance thank you